Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to make some cookies. Oh, I forgot to say, it is a day vlog. So we're just at the house. Maybe we'll go out to the store a little bit, but we're just going to make some cookies today. We're actually going to make some pumpkin cookies because it is the season, you know. It's almost three days away from August, so it is, you know, that time. Woo! So, let's make some pumpkin cookies. We'll enjoy some spookiness. I'll show you guys how to do everything. Um, I'll also put the link to the recipe down in the description below because who doesn't like to make pumpkin cookies? It's a super simple recipe. I mean, this is all it's going to take. We got white. We got some pumpkin pie spice. Pure pumpkin. And finally, some chocolate chips. Because who doesn't love chocolate chips? So, we got some good stuff. We also have a cinnamon spice vanilla burning, really making it feel spicy in here. Also, I'll show you while we're out. We already got some spookiness happening. We got uh, this fortune teller sign, and sees all, knows all. I really like these, um, I think they're from Michaels. They're really cute though. And of course, skull and crossbones, because spookiness. All right. Hi, welcome to my cooking show. This is, you know, where we cook everything. This is my kitchen. Hi, welcome. So pretty much all we have to do is combine all the ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is put a whole can of the pumpkin in it. So open that up. It smells really good though. It smells smells like fall here or just more pumpkin. All right, so after we're done with the whole thing of pumpkin, let's throw it away. So, just grab some white cake mix and pretty much all you're doing is the cake mix, nothing else more. So, that up. that's all you need. You can do this while you're prepping for your oven. And you might force all the moisture, it's in the pumpkin. So, because that was my question when I first looked at it, I was like, so why don't we need any moisture in this? But it's all in the pumpkin, so. There we go. Okay, and then. Spice to add. Oh, this is brand new. <laughs> I forgot I bought this brand new just so I can cook some pumpkin cookies. Now that that's a good smell. So this thing is packed to the top. All right, so now we're just gonna mix it all up. Just add some spice. And stir it all together and make it really just crumble up. It's going to seem really thick, but that's kind of the point of it. It's, it's supposed to seem really thick. You know, my favorite thing is right now, I'm just doing this by hand. There's literally a kitchen aid right behind me. Right there. It's fine. It's easier. You know, sometimes it's easier to just do stuff by hand. And actually go grab the KitchenAid, clean that all up, and just do it all in a big bowl. So, you could throw this all into the KitchenAid and just have it mix up itself. Or you can do it yourself. Either way, it's not a big deal. I totally forgot. We're supposed to add a cup of chocolate chip. I haven't added that in yet. Slacking here. So, grab a cup. Take some chocolate chips. Add it in. I don't know if anyone else is like, I love the smells of cooking stuff, like, and of course, you know, a little bit of chocolate doesn't help, I mean hurt either. Alright, there's our cup of chocolate chip. 
chips. Mm -hmm. And also, I believe this is a Weight Watcher recipe, so that's also nice about this whole thing. Oh, it's ready. See, like, almost just on time. By the time you get done mixing everything, your oven should be ready. I feel like I'm talking on a TV show, which is not... It's a little unusual for this channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. As I mess, mess up everything. Hi, welcome. You're close to my face now. So that's what your mix should look like. Just a little bit of, a little bit of everything in it. It's pretty basic, honestly, once you do it. You got some cute stuff, you got some food in it, and it's ready to be cut. Easy enough. So I'm gonna put it on to the pan next, and then we'll put it in the oven. All right, so we can the chocolate chips, move all that out of the way. And then make sure to get a pan. I personally like to put tin foil on it just so it doesn't make a huge mess, but you can do whatever you want. You can just do it on the pan. But personally, I just think it works better that way. Or struggle, like I do. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I don't know if anyone else is like that, but I always feel like I rip off. I don't know, I never get the clean rip. All right, so this can make a lot of cookies. Just so you know, um, I think the recipe can make like 32. So we have a lot of cookies here that we need to put on. So you're gonna laugh at me, but I use an ice cream scoop because I don't have anything else. So that's what we're gonna do. Cookies are in the oven. We're making those work. I also decided to just put some in a cupcake pan because I have a lot of mix and I'm hoping I can fix this all done in the next batch. I said ice cream scoop, it works. Weirdly enough. I bet these will overflow, but oh well. <laughs> and finally we're just looking here. They're they're starting to be bigger. Ooh, smells good. Ooh, getting foggy. <laughs> so we will wait. We got a lot in store for today. We're actually going to go to Target maybe, see if they got their Halloween stuff out. We also are going to Spirit because it's spooky season. Like I said, I'm not prepped and dressed for it yet, but it is spooky season. And then I'll show you a couple things we're working on around the house, so plenty in store. And there are our lovely cookies. I always forget with these cookies that they stay the same shape that they are when you put them on the so I was like, oh yeah, they look so pretty now they look a little rough, but oh well different sizes But they still look just as fine And then in here we just have a couple more cooking and then I put some cupcake trays because I figured why not? So let's try one fingers crossed because I'm hoping I made as good as my mom used to So let's start with this one. It looks good. It looks brown on the side. That's what I needed. Mmm. That's so good. Easy cooking recipe and it's just as good. I'm gonna enjoy some cookies. So it just got done. So I think overall with the cookies, I think you can make it probably a batch about 15 with this recipe. I mean not 15, excuse me, 30. So not bad. Um, I made some cupcake ones that could look really good. Just a pan and then all the cookies and then I have ate a couple, I have some um, plates to give to a couple of people. So good times all around. So the next thing we're going to do is I got this nice wireless car kit thing. I have no idea if it works. I ordered on Amazon. Um, my car is from 2005 so <laughs> playing stuff on your phone was not an option yet so 
I believe this kind of like puts it on like a radio frequency that it can pick up so you can kind of wirelessly listen to your music. It's going to be really interesting so we're going to try it out so let's go give it a look at. So guys, it did work. I'm very excited to say it. So I have never had a wireless mic in my car at all. So this is very exciting. It's just a little USB, I guess, um, more cigarette lighter port, but there, there it is right there. Don't mind my dusty car, but that's all it takes. So um, this isn't even plugged in right now. This is just to charge it. And the nice part is it's a fast charger. So now I can have my phone over here. Play Frozen. I'm gonna stop that because I don't want to get copyrighted, but that's awesome. And it just shoots up to an FM over there, so and it's only in this small little area that you can hook up to it. So I love that. Awesome. All right, into Zercher's we go. So we got all sorts of different things right here. So we got like this push ring, he's got an eyeball. That's cool. And there's another eyeball one right there. Ooh, bug. Just eh, 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 eh. a TV that lights up. Oh, didn't even have to touch it. All sorts of different things. Is, <laughs> there's too much going on. I like these little bears down here that like growl at you. Okay, but he looks so nice. And then the radio's just singing. These are my favorite though. I don't know how to make them. Oh. They, so I want to put these on a bookshelf and reskin them because they look so cool. I love them so much. They're my favorite. I just wish they didn't make sounds with them. So we got. And then we got dancing hands over here. And then a baby. I think he has a face that comes off of him. I don't know exactly how. Oh, why does he sound like Dolphin, Dr. Doofenspurts? But we got a little crawly baby here. And then we got all these little faces down here. These are all just ones you can hang in trees and whatnot. They all probably do a little thing. They probably just have lights in their eyes, but... Ooh, they got even little mermaids. I love her orange hair. Little Fiji mermaids. And then over here we got skulls, glitter skulls, ones with eyeballs, we got ravens and cats, creepy cat, let's try you. I'm watching his head turn around all the way. <laughs> and then if you like bones, they got plenty of those, we got aliens, we got dogs, we got fish, we got octopus, bugs. I like this a whole pile of severed hands. All sorts of different things. Ooh, creepy doll. And more just bones everywhere. Little mouses, teddy bears, whatnot. Oscar ones, best costume. And then you just got your average Halloween stuff here. Well, treats and treats. Countdowns. All sorts of fun stuff. This one's really scary. This is also animatronic. That you could end. Oh, it's terrifying. It's awesome. Whoa. Oh. Oh, he is spooky. And then over here we have just kind of the same idea type character entrance. And creepy doll just down the hallway. These are the scariest things I've seen. Like, look at that. That's so spooky looking. All these are so spooky. <laughs> I don't like them. You can even be grandpa. And you're not breaking any COVID rules with these. You're still wearing a mask. <laughs> I hate those. What's your favorite costume? Gothic biker. So these are all our little animatronics. We got twerking skeleton, cool looking eye guy. They're all going off right now, and we and we got a candy man trying to offer you candy with a hammer behind him. Oh no! And then just him just going. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, he doesn't work too bad, but he looks like he's going to dance. He's shot right now, but 
a lot of cool stuff in there. A couple cool animatronics. I like the one with the um, LED eyes. Those were cool. So next up, maybe Target. Oh, we're going to the car wash. It's so pretty and scary. It's really orange. That's really scary looking. Yay! We're on our way to Target. Target. We're getting started. We got pumpkin spice stuff all around already. It's that season and there's a Starbucks in here that has pumpkin spice. There's still no Halloween, just back to school stuff. <sighs> I love these little remix of the aliens from Toy Story, but they're all like different characters from Pixar. Like this is my favorite one. I think he's so cute. There's all sorts of different ones. Oh, I do like the inside out one. That is super cute. I like all these little baby yo's down here, but then you get like really scary looking baby yo over here. There's just something wrong with him, it seems like. Also, I just noticed these. Look how cool. They're like action figures from the original Jurassic Park movie. That's super cool. We got Mickey Mouse ice cream. Look how cute it is. We got them on their back. Whoop. We got them on their back right there. It's super cute. There's only 100 calories for a little cup. You can still get Mickey Mouse Premium Bar or Star Wars Snack right there. That's good. That bar is good. That's very okay. See, Starbucks gets it. There's pumpkin spice lattes here. All right, so we're back home. I'm gonna show you what we got. We got a little bit of spookiness. So we got. Don't mind our pantry. Don't don't mind the pantry. So we got some Oreos that are orange. We, we, we love some orange cookies. I mean, that's what we made today. And then we got some <gasps> Franken Frankenberry. Look at that. Also, the funniest thing about this, there was no other box in the whole store. There was just one box of Frankenberry and we had to get it. It's a family size. So we got the one box of Frankenberry. Next up, we got some ghost cookies. You thought the cookies were done? Nope, we got more cookies. We're not cooking these tonight, but we're saving them because who actually eats these cooked? Salmonella is a thing, but do we care? No, we don't. But for dinner tonight, we are just gonna make some hamburgers and that's it. So I'm gonna go cook some hamburgers on the grill. So right now, I'm just getting the ham the grill all warmed up, but I don't know if I ever showed this. We have these lovely patio lights. They're super cute, I love it. It's like one of my favorite parts. Um, the other day I was cooking hamburgers on the grill, and I'm very happy that we have trees above us because, ooh, that, would, that was fun because there was a whole bunch of lightning and rain. Well, I was covered the whole time, so that's lovely. Also, we got Chef Roxy. She's helping out, making sure everything's clear for all the goodness. Roxy, are, are we good to go? That seems like a yes to me. Also, she just loves sitting out here in the back with us, so enjoy the backyard while we cook. Now we just get to sit back, relax, cook the hamburgers, enjoy the lovely night air. It's probably like 70 degrees, so it feels like perfect out here right now. And there's crickets just peaceful and this has been a really random vlog we got cooking we got target we got halloween all sorts of different things but that's just how it goes so now we'll sit back relax um i'll also show you the cool thing um we pretty much got our house to smart lights all the way so that'd be really cool to actually show you guys we're almost there but i'll show you a little bit more about it because it's probably one of my favorite things we can do in the house now so I will say I'm not a burger expert. I have only cook, cooked a couple of my time, but I think these look pretty good. Watch your, everyone's back. He's like, oh, well, why are you eating this? You're going to get sick or something, but I think it's pretty good. There we go, there's uh, four hamburgers. They look pretty good. They look a little burnt on the sides, but rather than that, they're really greasy. That's the only thing I didn't realize about these burgers, but I think they look pretty good. So I got condiments out. We gotta get some buns and it's gonna taste good. Fingers crossed that tastes is good. All right, actually, I think they call it a night. 
I am like beyond exhausted right now. I, I saw the couch for a second after I got done eating. I'm like, I'm just, I'm tired. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It was kind of random and whatnot, but the burgers were great. Everything was good. It was a fun time. We got to see some Halloween. Not as much as we were hoping for, but oh well. And pretty much we'll go chill out. Um, I'll tell you about the fun thing in store in the next vlog at home. And that should be very soon. So keep in tune for that because that'll be really fun. And it has something to do with the lights. That's all I'm going to say. So we'll see where we decide to roam and wander next.